Hello everyone, this is Adam Meister, the Bitcoin Meister, the Disrupt Meister. Remember, we post a new video here every day, so check out this channel every day. I'd like to thank Carrie Lutz for interviewing me the other day. The post is now live. He has posted it on his site. I will share the link below. There are a lot of new people coming from his page over to here, at least a few. So please subscribe to this channel if you like what you hear here. I know you're interested in Bitcoin. Also, for my longtime viewers, go below to the notes section. There's always important stuff there, including a tweet you should retweet. It's a tweet by Carrie Lutz of the, uh, of the Financial Survival Network. So please retweet that. Um, in my previous video, or one of a recent video, I was talking about how the Ethereum Classic and Ethereum Total, if you added them together, hadn't been going up lately. Well, today both went up, coincidentally enough. So there is some uh, temporary, at least, uh, newfound interest in both of the Ethereums. The total price went up today, if I'm not mistaken, by a little bit at least. And Monero is going down. Um, it was below $9 at one point, which makes me kind of wonder if like speculators are just jumping around here. If there were some speculators who were like, oh, let's get off this Monero train now. Let's jump back onto Ethereum and Ethereum Classic and play around over there. And it's something that it's something to think about. Do speculators control the altcoin market? Do they all flock toward one coin, pump it up, and then leave with profits? Um, this is, is this the basis for, especially for like the second tier uh, altcoin market, maybe below Monero. Um, although in this example, we're talking about Monero and Ethereum, but I, I would assume that some of the, the lesser altcoins uh, scenario, I don't know, they're all fueled tremendously, at least by speculation. And when you're saying, when you're judging a coin because, oh, it's going up in value, that's might be really bad because it just might be a team of speculators or a few different teams of speculators manipulating these very, very small markets. I mean, just, just something to consider. I mean, and compared to Bitcoin though, uh, Bitcoin is the most robust market by far of any cryptocurrency out there. It's on every single cryptocurrency exchange all over the world. And it's on, it's on localbitcoins.com. They're over-the-counter markets where wealthy people are buying it, not on exchanges, but over-the-counter. So Bitcoin isn't, I mean, there is obviously a lot of speculation, of course, and in investors, but it, it's not, it, it can't be manipulated in, in, a, in such a scary way that I'm worried about with these altcoins, especially the second-tier altcoins, but I'm worried about it with Monero and Ethereum and Ethereum Classic also. So let's have a block size uh, debate reality check here for a section sex, sex, uh, second <laughs> and then talk about transaction time only i mean i have been moving some bitcoin around just organizing it a little better in various places i have it uh, obviously most of it is on my bitcoin trezor and if you need help with your installing your bitcoin trezor email me at adam at trezorhelp.com but i uh I haven't experienced really any delays at all when I move my Bitcoin from one place to another. The only place there's been a little, it's been a little slow and I guess it's been over five minutes for the first confirm or maybe the, for it actually to show up that it's trying is with Coinbase, which is funny because I think the Coinbase people are some of the people who are behind the, you know, expand the block size. But uh, at blockchain.info, uh, I messed around over there and that's very fast and other other places are, are, are quite fast also and again these are not time sensitive moves that I'm, I'm making here so I want to know if any of you out there have been making time sensitive moves okay that's the first question and if you're making time sensitive moves where you need to get Bitcoin to a place in a, in a short amount of time for some reason, because I don't know anyone that really needs to do that. That's why I'm asking. But if you're a person who isn't using it as like gold to you know, the store value, um, 
if, if you're as short and as need, have you had delays? Have you had delays if you have had, are making time sensitive moves? Now, if you're a person who's just moving it around and you've had delays, but you're not time sensitive, then it doesn't really matter that you had to wait a half hour, does it? No, not really, because you're just storing it in a new place. But I'm talking to the people, I'm very curious if anyone out there actually makes time sensitive moves. And this could be something like, I, I bought a, a coffee. Do, do, do any of you buy coffee with your Bitcoin? I don't know of anyone who does that. But that would be a time you would need, they would need to see a confirmation pretty fast. All right, I'm Adam Meister, the Bitcoin Meister. Have a great weekend.